has, you have said about the Arab Spring a little earlier. You said that you spoke firmly and uh, without any ambiguity. And that is true when it came to Tunisia, when it came to Egypt, when it came particularly to Libya. But you have not been as firm or as, um, as unambiguous when it has come to both Yemen and Syria. Are you now beyond your statements that come out? Are you now willing to say, uh, for example, to the President Ali Abdullah Saleh of Yemen uh, that he should not return to uh, Sana'a? And are you willing uh, to explain or call on President Bashar al-Assad to step down like you've done with other, um, with other uh, presidents uh, in being firm and uh, without ambiguity? With my Due respect to you, <clears throat> I would not agree that uh, I was not firm enough uh, as I've been to other situations. I have been uh, speaking quite firmly with uh, President Saleh of Yemen and also uh, President Assad of uh, Syria. And in fact, uh, you name any country, I have been speaking almost all the leaders in the region, whether the war demonstrations or not, uh, because wherever I saw some potentiality of such uh, aspirations of moving out, then I have uh, discussed this matter so that they would uh, take necessary measures and listening more attentively to the aspirations of their people. That is why you have seen in some areas still, you know, they have been trying to manage the situation. On Yemen, the situation in Yemen is uh, deeply worrisome uh, and particularly, of course, changed with the present Saleh uh, leaving the country for medical uh, treatment. Uh, I have seen all this report, uh, uh, the reactions of uh, common people, uh, people on the street. Uh, we will monitor, first of all, my view has been, you know, uh, remaining same all the times. This uh, confrontation should uh, stop, and all Yemenis should work toward diffusing tensions. And uh, they have uh, their own uh, domestic uh, programs. As you know, GCC brokered the deal has been uh, on the table. It was almost on the verge of uh, agreement. Uh, I hope uh, on the basis of a previous uh, negotiations and dialogue, uh, we will be, I hope we will be able to see the early resolution, harmonious resolution of this uh, situation in Yemen. Just a so can you pronounce yourself on whether you think President Ali Abdullah Saleh should stay out of the country and can you also answer the, the question related to <laughs> President Bashar al-Assad of Syria because you did not go into that. That will have to be uh, determined by the people people of uh, both uh, Yemen and uh, Syria. That has been my consistent message. My messages to the leaders in the region <coughs> has been consistent that the leaders have uh, very important responsibility to reflect the wills of uh, their own people and listen carefully, more attentively, uh, their wills and aspirations. Yeah.